Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. In the last episode we had a clutch win with Maggie, so we got Guardian Angel because we went to show with Maggie. That's all, that's where she had to go, we beat the chest with her before, that's where she had to go. So let's start, let's random, Judas! Judas, I like Judas, he's a nice man, he has a lot of damage, he starts with one heart which is a bit scary, but he needs to go to the chest or shoal which is fine so you know depending on the items we get we might go to the chest we might go to shoal mega mush is making it look like a chest run though because an all stats upgrade gives damn it gives uh, judas those red tears gives him an extra piece of hp so now we're a powerful cane like we were we're a powerful kind of cane because we got the lucky toe which is almost like the look foot kind of we got the uh, we got the HP upgrade to make us like Kane, and we've got more damage. So we're basically a bit of a buffed version of Kane, which is good. And we've got the Book of Belial over Kane's. Uh, does Kane start with an item? I don't think he does now. That I think about it. Uh, let me think about that. Maybe he starts with the Yum Heart. No, Kane doesn't start with anything. Well, you know, it, it really shows our damage when we are just um, pretty much two shot in the heads off these guys, make it easier for me to get rid of them. And there we go. So they're dead. And then we just got this one set of uh, set of children to deal with. Found the shop. I doubt we'll be able to go to the shop. Depends if we get a lot of money like we just did there. Because that is a dime. That's 10 cents. And we'll have a look in the shop. 15 cents for the blue candle. It's, uh, it's kind of tempting. But I think Book of Belial. Yeah, you know what? Book of Belial is... Oh boy, it'd, it'd help block shots from Isaac, but we might get a lot of damage. We'll see. Let's just explore the rest of the floor. We'll think about it, because, you know, if we don't find 15 cents, we don't find 15 cents. We've probably got a guess where the... We've probably got a good guess at where the uh, secret room is. So we'll we'll look in the secret room, we'll see what's in the secret room, and then we'll, we'll decide on whether we're going to pick up that blue candle or not. So, this is where the secret room will be if it is. It is. What's in there? Enough money to buy the blue candle. Uh, we've got a lot of damage. Thanks to that all stats upgrade. Do we buy it? Book Lyle. Do we buy it? Let's have a look at how much... Oh, we're... Oh, Book of Lyle's doing so much damage to Monstro, though. I... I think I will buy, I know this sounds silly, but I'm going to buy the Spirit Heart just to keep us, oh, and a third HP upgrade, just to give us that one extra Spirit Heart to make sure that we only take Spirit Heart damage on the next floor for the deal with the devil if one appears, because now we've got three hearts and if we can trade it away for, you know, a super powerful mom's knife or brimstone or something like that, I'd be happy with that. So we'll buy this, sorry blue candle, you're tempting but not as Judas. Maybe it's best to just go to short. Uh, I don't know. That'd be kind of throwing this all starts upgrade away if we just went to show, wouldn't it? But show is the easier one, and I have to go out at like 12 o'clock, so I'm on a bit of a time constraint. I'll think about it. I need a key. I used. Okay. 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 Just watch out for the bomb, dudes. That was bullshit, and you know it. I was not in that blast radius. Well, there's the key, so let's just see what's in our item room. Alright, item room contains... Mulligan! That's a really good item. I like it. Makes flies every time I do damage. Or every time one of my tears land. Well, not every time. It has a chance to. Every time my tears land. Uh, half heart. Can't use that yet. And I don't particularly... I don't particularly plan to use that if I can actually help it. So I've just got to be careful with the leapy spiders because we know their habit for leaping all the way across the screen sometimes, their Olympic leaps. Got Book of Belial ready for the boss. I don't feel like I have to use Book of Belial in this situation because we've got... Uh, well, we'll use it against Lust. Oh, Lust is a little bit fast, but we're okay. So we'll use it against Lust and it'll be charged for the boss. We find a pill. Not going to use it just yet in case it's bad trip, and bad trip will take health off me, and then we might not get a deal with the devil. So we'll just we'll just keep we'll just keep the pill on us for now. And we got 13 cents and a load of bombs, so we might as well a look for the secret room and b go to the shop because I'm sure we'll get two cents on this floor. That's not the secret room. That sucks, but we've still got all the chances to find the secret room. 
Uh, again, easy room. This is going to help us charge our Book of Lyle. I believe the boss is probably going to be to the right, if I have to guess. Because, like, up seems like... No! Oh, there's a boss trap room. There's a boss trap room. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Uh, if we took a deal with the devil... Let's see if we get a deal with the devil. I think I might be able to work this, potentially. I might have a strategy on how to work this. So, first of all, get to the boss, okay? See if we can get a deal with the devil out of the boss. These room layouts being a bit dickish with all these rocks. But yeah, see if we can get a deal with the devil out of the boss for like... Oh, there's a lot of money here. That's okay, though. But yeah, see if we can get a deal with the devil out of the boss for maybe two hearts. And then... Trade two hearts to go to one heart. That unlimited keys is okay. It allows us to go to shop. But yeah, trade two hearts and go to one heart. We're not going to get a HP upgrade out of famine, which sucks. I was hoping to ha have a HP upgrade out of this boss, but that's okay. Famine. Oh, wow. We just pretty much ripped famine apart. That's good. Uh, so we do get a deal with the devil. We'll pick up our cube meat. Let's see what's in here. Because I, I might have a strategy here. Well, you know I'm going to do that. There's no way I'm not going to pick up Mom's knife. So we're going to pick up Mom's knife. We're going to go over to the boss trap room. We're going to get kind of crazy as well. This is kind of scares me for what I'm about to do. No, let's see if there's a spirit heart in the shop first. Let's see if there's a spirit heart in the shop. There's enough money to potentially buy the, the 15 cent item. Shop contains portable slot and a pill. There's no spirit heart. That's kind of scary. But that's okay. Oh man. So I mean, if we actually if we get the HP upgrade, that's gonna add because I'm basically banking for a HP upgrade in here, and then we get a free mom's knife. So we hurt ourselves. Now we can get in, and there's a HP upgrade and a damage upgrade. So now, oh, we almost one shot monstro already. That is that is crazy good. So, okay, we don't need to trade any more health. We don't need to trade any more health to the devil. We've got amazing damage. So, now we take the pill. Balls of steel, which I took it earlier. That's fine. Then we're going to take our other pill. We're going to go buy the other pill. And then we're going to get like 15, or we're going to get like 7 cents out of one of those rocks by using uh, Mr. Mega Explosion by like walking in the room and walking out because that's apparently a glitch. So, we'll buy this pill. This pill tears up, so we've got two good pills in the rotation. So let's head over and blow up this rock. Oh, we can't get them both. I'll trade a bomb for six cents then. So there's six cents, that's 15 cents, that means we can buy some on the next floor. We'll pick this up, I'm sure we'll get all the hearts, I'm not going back because we'll definitely get all the hearts. Right, so now we just start looking for all of our main rooms. Oh, I don't like the fact that there's leapers on the, on the caves, so that's a bit... Strange, but there's a heart back. Uh, Gish is slightly scary because they're not on like the same same wavelength. But now he is, and now he's dead. Where's the boss? I don't know. But pretty much after. Oh, okay, there we go. We made it. But pretty much after the necropolis, because I kind of feel like we might be going to the necropolis because we were given we were given the gift of Mom's knife. But I feel like uh, oh judgment. I will activate you, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get to play you, but we'll see. At least he's activated for later. We have one extra cent we can give to him, and he can pay out with one cent. So, there we go. There's our item room. Item room contains Mr. Mega. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We've got super bombs. So, if we can find, or if we use super bombs on Mom's heart, there we go. There's the shop, and apparently Greed can't be in the first shop. He's not, and there's a coin purse, which I'm going to buy, because we had good pills in our rotation, like this one. No, we don't know what this one is, or this one, or this one. We don't know what any of these pills are, but this is basically going to solve our rotation. Telepills. Telepills lost to judgment. That was scary, because we could have easily teleported to an IM error room. We now know there is telepills in the rotation. That's fine. Uh, this is a shop here. There is spirit hearts I could also buy, but we're going to play judgment with whatever money we find. Next pill, look up, that's good pill. Next pill, 
Bombs are keys, not too sure how I feel about that. And next pill, friends to the end. So we've got an okay pill rotation. I would like to get... To two judgments. I would like to get another bombs are keys pill, but we'll see. First of all, we're going to fight little Chad. We've just took loads of health off little Chad, and you're dead. So, we'll pick up little Chad because, you know, we've, we've got no other choice. And we'll look for another bombs are keys pill because we need it, because there's loads of locations for the secret room, but now no bombs to which to, to do that, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. You know, two judgments isn't the end of the world. I will waste a spirit heart to go to that curse room, because hey, if there's a free pact in there, that would be good. But I'm more hoping for a bombs are key pill, or even just one bomb to have one shot at the secret room. I suppose if the secret room is attached to the curse room, we can always walk in and walk out. It is... Oh, okay. Uh, oh, this is actually good, because we're going to get Lump of Coal. So we're going to take, like, a, a bit of damage, but we're going to get Lump of Coal. That's a fantastic. That couldn't have gone any better. So I did take the full Spirit Heart, but plus side, we've got Lump of Coal. We've got one cent. We might as well give it to the Jumpshipman, which we opened with a a um, bomb. So I'll put it into you. Nope. Oh, well. So right, there we go, Caves 1 done. Only 11 minutes in there as well, this is a really good run. So we'll just head on to the next floor. Probably gonna get the catacombs. For shops now, if the Spirit Hearts, I would honestly just buy the Spirit Hearts because there's nothing really that the 15 cent item could be that, well, we've got eight keys, we might as well, Greed could be in here. It's not, it's the Steam Sale. Honestly, the Steam Sale's too little too late because we have, um, I can't remember what that blue pill is. That might be bombs are keys. It might be wise to try and get that. But yeah, the um, there's a dime. That's awesome. Now we can buy the spirit heart and the pill. So we'll buy the spirit heart to get all extra stuff. Buy the pill. Bombs are keys. That's exactly. Uh, ooh. Now do I want to use it? I will wait till I find the item room, and then we'll use it to try and find the secret room. So there is a mob trap room. I kind of knew I was going to take damage there because I got hemmed into the corner. That's fine. I shouldn't have picked that key up. I should have waited. Uh, it's not worth it, to be honest. It's not worth it. So we'll find the item room, which we have now found. We'll unlock the item room with the um, keys that we have. Use bombs our keys. It's all good. So unlock this, use this to get back to seven bombs because we don't need all those bomb or all those keys. Pick up shoot the whoop to knock it out of the rotation and find the boss. I will search the rest of the floor just in case there's a cursed room but let's go fight the boss first. So we're fighting Pestilence which is a good boss to be fighting, that equals a second cube of meat. You fired three bombs, that is a dick move Pestilence. So we knocked his head off pretty much instantaneously. And when he stops firing bombs, because we have to be careful, because we have to kind of get close range with him, but there's our second cube of meat. And we'll have a quick look around the rest of the floor, see if we can find a secret room, see if we can find some tinted rocks. I don't know. It's all right. Uh, this is all the secret room. It's fine. We have six bombs, so I've got no, I've got no qualms about using several bombs to try and find the secret room. This could also be the secret room. It's not. It's fine. And now we'll just have a quick look for curse rooms. I would like some more HP to be honest with you. That's the one downside to this run is HP. Another key, so now we're building our key reserves back up. But yeah, I would like one more key if at all possible. Just to, just, uh, no, not, not another key. What am I talking about? I'd like more HP, like physical red HP, just to be on the safe side. I've got another 10 cents. That's crazy. Dime, two dime drops on this floor, that's crazy. Uh, no. This could be the secret room as well. It's not. And also over the other side could be the secret room. So we're going to use a lot of bombs looking for the secret room. There is a cursed room, which is something I was, uh, I was kind of terrified about because we're going to use another spirit heart to go in here. Uh, two, two bombs, not good, but you know... I'm going to go to those curse rooms because there is a chance, there's always a chance. So in here, three cents. So we've got enough money to buy spirit hearts from shops if we don't fight greed. 
And we're doing okay. How are we doing on this run? We're doing good. We're doing good. So, maybe it might be prudent to go down to Shoal. We have easily got the damage to win Shoal. But the HP is a bit of a is a bit of a scary one. I mean, could we beat Isaac with just three regular hearts? We'd be doing incredible damage with burst shots, but with our current HP, I'm I'm not happy with going to the chest. I'd love to try it, but I've got to be realistic. I've got to be realistic and be like, well, I'm not going to beat Blue Baby with three red hearts. We've been given the gift of the damage, don't waste the gift of the damage. So we'll just go down to the next floor and go to Shoal. And you know, we've got to go to Shoal at least once with all these characters, so why not get it out of the way straight away, basically? I'm going to put the Mr. Mega Bomb here, and that should open you up. It does. I'd love to play him, don't get me wrong. I would love to play him, but I need the hearts on the floor first. Well, that's a full heart that we can put into him right away. So, if he pays out with a deal with the devil item, that'd be nice. Nothing yet, that's fine. We'll just continue to look for the boss. I shouldn't have done that. Actually, yeah, I should have. I was going to say, I shouldn't have done that because I need to save my red hearts for a deal with the devil, like not take dev not take damage until I've seen the deal with the devil items, but I'm not going to take a deal with the devil, because honestly, I don't need to take a deal with the devil. Our damage is already... Oh, God, that was bad. But our damage is already through the roof. We don't need a deal with the devil. Uh, I'm trying not to aggro all of the grandfather flies, which is basically how that went down. There's our boss room. There's our item room. Item room contains skeleton key, so we're okay for keys for the rest of the game. I like skeleton key. You know, it's, it's a bit of a light upgrade, but I like Skeleton Key. War Fallen. Okay, this is interesting because we're going to be getting a Deal with the Devil item off him. So, that's, again, that's no HP, which terrifies me. I would prefer, you know, I would prefer HP at this point. And the Fallen went down really fast, so this shows for the later Fallen fight in Shoal how good we're going to do. Uh, he's dead. Guppy's Tail pick up Guppy's tail because we've got skeleton key. I mean, I'm going to look in there. Nine lives Whore of Babylon. It would take us to, it would take us one third of the way to becoming Guppy. And I beat, I did beat Satan with one heart before, but at the same time, I'd rather have more health to fight. I'd rather have one life with more health. I mean, the boss, the deal with the devil room is still there, so you know. Maybe we will go back to the deal with the devil later on. If we win Demon Judgment, one bomb for two bombs is always a good trade. So we will take those. And this is pretty much the... There is a cursed room. Do we go to the cursed room before playing the Demon Judgment? Oh god, these laser bullet flies are hemming me in. That was, that was almost some tactical work from the laser bullet flies. I do believe that we go to the... Thank you for that half heart. I'll use it on the way out. Oh, so we can go in here and play Demon Judgment. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm still not going to do it. But nine lives is there. That's all we got to remember. Nine lives is there. So, let's just, let's just continue. Am I going to take nine lives? I mean, I'm going to use the hearts on the screen and make it easier to, for me to win this Demon Judgment and see what he pays out with. You see, what I'm hoping for, here's, here's what I'd hope for. Paid out with Pinky Eye. We'll just search the rest of the floor. What I would hope for, I know there's a load more hearts I could play, but I kind of just want to clear out the rest of the floor first. But what I would hope for is for him to pay out with Guppy's Paw, we take nine lives... Get out of here. We take nine lives, and then we take Guppy's paw with us. It'd, be, it'd suck to lose Book of Belial, but at the same time, we'd lose Book of Belial, but every time we die, we get three spirit hearts and permanent Polaroid invincibility. So that's basically my thinking. Greed? No. Treasure map. And spirit heart. And heart. Alright, map first. Spirit heart second. I shouldn't have bought that, really, because... Yeah. Mob trap room. We'll see what's in it. I don't think there's going to be anything of value in it. 
Uh, so this is pretty much going to be a speed run after the next one. Teleporter is not worth it, so we will go up here and we will search our remaining rooms. We found all rooms of importance, to be honest with you. I don't know why I'm still searching. Because we found the curse room, which is what I wanted to find. Hold on, gotta pause. No, 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 no. Alright. Goddamn phone. Always ringing, trying to, trying to fuck me over. But luckily we... Luckily... We already knew it was coming. Well, we didn't know the phone call was coming, but we kind of had the ability to, to get out of the way. I did lose the spirit heart, though. That sucks, but we'll be okay, because we're just going to search this last room. Um, we know where the secret room is, thanks to the treasure map, so I'm glad I bought that. Uh, let's just continue to kill all of the silkworms. And I just realized, little Chad is helping us out. That's balls of steel, isn't it? Yes, don't use it yet, because if we do, if we do take nine lives, then, oh, Pinky Eye, you're going to be in the way. Alright, just play him as much as can, and see if he drops out. Uh, he played out with the tower card, which is the tower, I don't particularly want it. Oh, uh, we're just going to be, like, shift swapping all the time here. Alright, get out of there, I need to get away from him. And now we go collect a load of hearts. We've got enough. Oh, we haven't got money, actually. I was going to say we've got enough to buy the spirit heart or buy the red heart, but we haven't. But we collect all of our health, and, you know, we might as well... All right, here's the thing. We'll go strongly on him, like, really, really low. And if we end up, like, leaving this floor with half heart, I'll take nine lives. That's probably the best solution, maybe. Um, but we'll, we'll replenish the full health, and we'll see if it pays out. We'll also see what's inside this secret room might be raw liver, and if there's raw liver, there's greed. Well, that's okay, because greed posed no threat at all. Oh, man. Okay, so we move on. What health's in here? Half a heart. I'm... No. No. I, I thought about it. I did think about it. I was thinking of getting Horror of Babylon, but I'm still I'm still on the fence about sacrificing this amount of hearts. So we're back up to full health. We can at least buy one more heart from the shop, so keep that in mind. That we've got a full heart to buy from the shop. Uh, still thinking about that nine lives, to be honest with you. And we will just gamble to him. He paid out with a Bombs or Keys pill. No thanks. And we'll just keep going. One more. Get out of there. He didn't pay out. We've got spirit hearts to float us, is the thing. That's why I'm thinking about this. Is there a tarot card in here? There isn't. There's just a Kina bomb. Uh, I will try him some more. I know it seems stupid, but... I will try him some more just because I kind of I kind of have to go hard on him and we've got the balls of steel he didn't pay out I'm not pissed about that I'm just gonna take my balls of spirit balls of steel those three hearts will will be enough to keep us alive and replenish us to the to the point where we'll be fine so let's just go down I'm not gonna take nine light oh, it make us two thirds of the way do we go we go me no Yes. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. I can't. I can't pass it up. We're two thirds. It'll make us two thirds of the way to becoming Guppy. And I know we've seen it before. I know I can beat Satan with one heart. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Was that the right decision? I don't know. Probably not. It was probably the worst decision I've ever made, but at the same time, I just, I can't pass up the opportunity to become Guppy. Especially if we're going to show, we could really just wreck Satan's face with Guppy flies and everything, and of course we get put on Necropolis. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. It's not. We just need, here's what we need. We need Mom to pay out with a HP upgrade, Curse Room to pay out with Guppy's paw. Or even just Satan's payout with Guppy's Paw. We have to explore all of this floor because there is... Oh god. We have to explore all of this floor because there is no way of leaving them on boss fight unless we get a Telepills. 
or in fact we actually have to find a telepill to even get a deal with the devil which is kind of sucky why did I go into this room I don't know I shouldn't have gone into this room but we're doing sufficient enough damage that we'll be fine to knock Chubb out bombs and money let's just move on so yeah we're not going to go into the end rooms because that's just stupid we'll see what's in here hopefully raw liver that's kind of what I'm hoping for it's not it's a fortune it's a, it's a slot machine we blow it up and it gives us a balls of steel pill. That's good. That's a, that's the best I could hope for. Kind of, kind of thinking that maybe if there's an arcade, we play a blood bank, get to half heart, and run on the permanent Polaroid invincibility. There's a guts, but the guts is dead, and it's going to be dead again when it comes like into this this row. So they're dead. Another penny. What's here? Is this a full room? This is a full room. So we just gotta roll around and get them all into the correct position like so and like so so last item room halo flies that's gonna block shots that's good I'm happy with the upgrades that we got on this run let's just continue onwards and see if we can find the boss find the shop make it all good there we go don't fire at me golden chest I've got lots of keys to open golden chest we found the shop We've gotta be careful that was a good mum's knife that was a okay mom's knife. What's more prudent to get out of the way first? Whatever we can. So now we just gotta aim for the bomb fly and not get blown up. We go into our last shop. There's the ladder. The ladder is worthless, to be honest with you. I think this is a telepills? No, friends till the end. That's unfortunate. We'll buy the spirit heart, so yeah, I really want a blood bank to try and get to that half heart invincibility, if at all possible. If not, then there's nothing we can do about it, but if I could, even if, you know, I'm kind of tempted if we went to the, uh, oh, this is a shit room. That's the reason why it's shitty, because of the blue spikes, but yeah, you know what, even if, oh, okay, just be careful here. Go and get rid of the fucking hearts. All right, we did take half a spirit heart, not going to lie about that, but there was a lot of masks to deal with, and now they're dead. That's another balls of steel pill. So yeah, I need a blood bank. If I can, I will go to every room to just look for a blood bank. Because if we can find one, we get heart. We get half a. We go down to half heart. Permanent Polaroid invincibility. It's all good. Uh, I kind of tempted if we get the half heart that we could beat Isaac with this many spirit hearts and the amount of permanent Polaroid invincibility we get. But that all depends on a blood bank, basically, ladies and gentlemen. That all depends on a blood bank, which I'm kind of thinking that. At this point, we might not be able to get. There is a w another curse room which I'm going to go to because, you know, if there's a guppy item in that curse room, if there's guppy's paw in that curse room, I've got to do it. There's a red chest. It wasn't a guppy item. That's okay. So we'll move on to the greed room, dodge, and blood bank. No blood bank. That's uh, that's really unfortunate. That really hit me. I kind of call bullshit there that that actually managed to hit me. I was nowhere near that explosion. But whatever. And whatever. That's okay. So we're not going to get a blood bank. So there's no way of getting to half heart because everything's going to do double damage in the womb. So I guess we just start bum rushing here. We're fighting the champion version of Mom, but we did like a quarter of Mom's health right off the bat. Uh, I don't like... Oh, okay, just watch out. There we go. So we just gotta watch the next... Just fucking... I don't like the monsters she spawned in the... where she spawned. Get out of the middle. There we go. So we get a spirit heart. We get a HP upgrade, which we'll take. We'll get the Polaroid, which we'll take. And now we head down. Do we go to the cathedral? Maybe. We'll think about it. Secret room's right next to us, and I will go up and over just in case the boss is that way. Slot machine, blow it up, because we got enough to solicitate blowing it up. i just give us more red hearts. But yeah, I'm going to now just look for the boss. Um, oh. So now we're basically just trying to bum rush. I will probably still go to Shoal. I'm going this way to see if the boss is this way. That was a good barrage of Mum's knife. All these are dead. Golden chest. More money. And what am I hoping for? I'm hoping to find the boss really fast. Get a deal with the devil. Trade two hearts for Guppy's Paw. And if we can trade two hearts for Guppy's Paw, 
Then we're in permanent Polaroid invincibility, then we'll think about maybe going to the cathedral. But that all depends on a guppy support, basically. So Gertie Jr., Gertie Jr. almost died. I don't want to get hit by Gertie Jr., there we go. Uh, we'll go down this way, because the boss could be either way this way. Um, Diglets are probably the bigger threat, to be honest. But whatever goes first, goes first. We get a tarot card, the lovers. Could be useful, could not be useful, I don't know yet. Uh, I flew these guys I want to take out, because they're the bigger problem. Actually, the brains are kind of the bigger problem, but it's fine, they're dead, everything's dead. So the brain is dead, more hearts from little Chad, you know, I appreciate it, little Chad, but at this point, we don't need hearts too much, you die. Another golden chest, card, two of hearts, two of hearts is better than the others. Well, actually, the, they're both the same now that I think about it, because we've only got one red heart anyway. Ah, oh, Fetus, that was a dick move, teleporting, and you know it. Try to take out that guts if possible. Oh, no, that's fine. Didn't quite manage to reach the Angel Fetus. Again. He's just managing to stay out of the range, and now he's not out of range. I don't even know why I come up into this room. But I guess a million money. Nearly got hit by the troll bomb. That's okay, but I guess for all this money. And now we'll just move on. Uh, that's the lovers. It doesn't really matter which one we take. Alright, is this the boss room? No. Uh, the Diglet is... Well, I mean, the heart mask is scarier, but the Diglett's more of a threat because it's going to home in on us. So, if I can just get rid of that heart. Oh, this is a dick. Move. Fuck off, mask. Alright, there's one of them dead. There we go. So, we don't need to go into that room because it's not a room of value. Range upgrade. That's kind of going to help us, to be honest with you. And now we just speed onwards, we speed on, so we went every wrong way to get to the boss, which sucks a lot, but that's okay. Uh, if there's a curse room, would you waste two spirit hearts to do it? Yes, because again, curse room could contain the guppy's paw. If the guppy's paw comes through, that's a lot of permanent Polaroid invisibility. Golden chest could, con ah, could contain a HP upgrade, so I guess we'll do it. It contains the compass, so we have map plus compass. I kind of call dick move there, but that's okay. Because we're gonna be we're gonna be wiping out everything in one shot, and yeah, I think we might. There's there's a chance that I'll go to the cathedral with the fact that we've got Mom's knife and this incredible damage. Uh, one monstro is dead. That monstro should be dead, but it's not. So now we've got map plus compass. Now we can see everything that's on the floor. There is a cursed room. That's st stupid and hilarious. I will probably go to it, and I will probably just end up going to Shoal if that's the case. This brain dude's being a bit of a dick as well. There we go. He's dead. Alright, we move on. That's everything dead. One spider left. That's not a difficult puzzle to solve. Another dime. If there's judgments, that'd be fine. Uh, hearts. Hearts are easy without their mass counterparts. I'll probably fight the boss before going into this curse room. So, he's dead, another golden chest, child's heart, I don't need another set of hearts. Champion Blow, who obviously put his eyes out in such a fucking way that... Oh god, fuck you. Champion Blow, you are the biggest dick in the world. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get fucking wrecked by Champion Blow here, because Champion Blow is a scumbag. Oh my god, he just makes bombs everywhere! You're a fucking dick, Champion Blow! Well, he's dead, but we're, we're pretty low on health. Yeah, we got Pageant Boy, and now we can't get out of that curse room without dying. So, I guess we're not going into that curse room after all then, are we? Because we don't have a spirit heart to back it up. But if Guppy's poor is... Oh no, you know what? We can. Watch this. So we open this. It's just a home and troll bomb. We use the lovers. Get our heart back. Hey, smart thinking. And then we just pick up this and this. And we move down. I wanted to use Book of Belial on that fight, but honestly, couldn't. There's a fort um or oh, there is an arcade, so there could be a fortune teller. I've got to try that. Oh, I'm probably gonna get hit. Look up! More money, nothing of value. So I think we are just going to go down to Shoal. I was confident, but then that fucking champion bloke fight was like, Hey, I'm going to fucking ruin it, because 
fucking champion bloat is a dick. Don't die. <laughs> stay alive, don't die, just stay alive. You can win hearts at the arcade! Fuck you, Meat Boy Wannabe. I hate y how you move and shoot. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Alright, he's dead. Red chest. Guppy item. Nope, just another fucking home in troll bomb. God damn it. Okay, cysts, cysts are easy. I can, I can get to the... I can get to the arcade from just killing cysts. Uh, they're in dick positions though. There we go, that's another one dead. Nope, just missed. And that's another one dead. Oh, thank you little Chad, you're a lifesaver. And now fortune teller? No. So, we're just gonna blow this up. And then, well, what can we win? We can't really win anything, can we? We've already got a halo of flies, there's nothing that we can win that'll help, so I guess we'll just blow it all up. Might, it's probably more better, we probably might get a, uh, a balls of steel pill. Oh shit, we did. We got balls of steel pill, that's awesome. And then we'll just move onwards. Half a heart means we could get one shot of permanent Polaroid invincibility for Satan. And this is a... Uh, I can't call it a victory just yet, but it's pretty damn close, considering we've got map and compass and we can kind of speedrun Shoal. Which will be fine. Uh, you need to go... Oh, I didn't mean to pick up that. That's alright. Oh, God. That was scary. That was very scary. Fire that over there. That was a nice chain reaction. And then we just got to hit the bomb fly once. And we'll use Book of Belial after killing the lasers. So we go in. Thank you, uh, friends, till the end for killing that Book of Belial. And I'm not even going to use bombs because I predict that we're just going to rip Mom's heart apart. We actually didn't do as much damage to her as I thought. So I guess we will put a Mr. Mega Bomb down and fire in at the same time. And then put a Mr. Mega Bomb down and fire in at the same time. And now she's dead. There we go. No, I can't. I can't justify the cathedral. You know, I I want to. I really want to. But with the amount of low, we've got really low health. I can't justify the cathedral. Even though there was a good chance we could have won, I can't. I can't justify it. There is a library, but that's uh, that's a, that's for another day. That's for another time. Again, there's a curse room that could contain Guppy's paw as well, which would give us so many spirit hearts. Fuck you, Super Greed. I'm gonna fight him because, you know, why not? He's there. And he's not gonna do... He poses no threat to me. I might... Uh, I don't know. I might make it... You know what? Let's get crazy. We're only got 37 minutes. Let's get crazy. I'll go and fight Satan, and if I win... If I win comfortably, I'll go and see if I can make it to the rest of Shoal and just see what was in the curse room in the library for shits and giggles. But we have to beat Satan comfortably. Like, if we beat Satan with one heart to spare and the next hit on Shoal could kill us, then I wouldn't feel comfortable taking on... I wouldn't feel comfortable exploring the rest of the floor. But we'll see. A HP upgrade, though. Can I get this without stepping on the spikes? I can. That's nice. Uh, so we've got a room full of Isaac zombies. Which is a bit tricky, but Mom's knife pierces. We have lost one spirit heart, but again, not too bothered. We lost both of our spirit hearts, that sucks. So let's go in. Book of Belial. One, two, three. Mr. Mega Bomb. Perfect. And that is the fallen pretty much dead. So that was a good that was a good fallen run. Oh, you can't shoot through Satan, that's good for me. So we're just gonna we're just gonna mom's knife you. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but that's fine. Mom's knife, mom's knife. You're dead. All right, so this is a this is a comfortable win against uh, Satan. Fire the knife, fire the knife. Oh, okay. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. No bomb fly. Don't. F I hate the bomb flies, but we have we have comfortably or nearly comfortably. I've just got to get the leg to land right. There we go. Monster Manuel has appeared in the basement. We've comfortably won. I'm going to go see what was in that curse room for shits and giggles, if we can. Like, I've obviously got to be wary of my health, but if we can, we will. There's a full heart. I mean, we're only at 39 minutes, so why not? Just for shits and giggles. So there's one of these dudes. Uh, we're just going to drop a bomb here. We're not. We're going to... Oh, shit. We can just, like, 
the meat boy, you can do the damage to him. There you go. And we're getting a lot of hearts, so I can easily, I can easily, like, solicitate going to both these rooms just to see what was in there. Would they have improved our chances? That's the question. It's kind of fun to go back and see. So there was a blood bank if we wanted to get really fucking stupid. But we're not going to. Another golden chest. Library contained anarchist cookbook. That wouldn't have improved our chances at all. So, would the curse room have improved our chances? Would we have got the guppy's paw that we... Oh, Jesus. This is a terrifying room. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Thank you, little Chad. We've got to go get back and get all of the hearts to be able to, to go into there. But yeah, would this have contained the guppy's paw that we needed? Is the question. Well, now I've sucked if I just died there, but that was that was a terrifying room, and we're fighting the fallen one last time. He's come back for revenge, but he's not gonna he's not gonna get his revenge, especially not with Buckable Isle now activated. So, even if he hits me once, you're dead. Uh yeah, I need two of hearts. I can go in and use two of hearts to come out. So there's two of hearts popped in here was friends to the end and two spirit hearts. Two spirit hearts, it might have increased our chances a little bit, but you know, it was a comfortable victory anyway. What was in the mob trap room? You know what, we've never, here's, a, here's another one. We've never fought a mob trap room on Shoal. What is a mob trap room on Shoal? Alright, it's Larry Jr's. I've never been into a mob trap room in Shoal, so interesting to see. Little chub, or big chub I should say, so it's actually just a womb too. There you go, interesting to know. The Shoal, the Shoal mob trap room is just a womb too mob trap room. So there you go. So, Monstro 2 is our last guy, and now we'll just walk to the end. We'll have a comfortable stroll to the end. Another chest, why not? A heart. Thank you for the heart. So, there we go. Judas has beaten the cathedral, or Judas has beaten Shoal. That was a comfortable victory. I'm happy that I went to Shoal. You know, could I have beaten Isaac? I potentially could have beaten Isaac. There was a good chance I could have beaten Isaac, to be honest with you. Um... But, you know, I, I, I prefer going down to Shoal. We don't have to come back to Shoal anymore with Judas. And I prefer the comfortable victory over the one where we might have we might have absolutely screwed ourselves over. So, stats, that's 87 out of 97. We are now only missing 10 secrets before, before we beat the game. Totally and completely. So we're just going to... Oh, no, 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 shit, don't do that. We haven't beat the chest with Judas. That'd be nice if we beat the chest with Judas. No! We've beat Satan with Judas. Monster Manuel. A few secrets found. Yep. Monster Manuel. Evil. Well, that's okay. We've unlocked it. That's another secret down. Ten secrets remain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve secrets. Thirteen secrets. How is the thirteen secrets? Technically, do three count? Let's ignore the god secrets, like golden, god, platinum, god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, so there is only ten actual secrets to find, but there's like golden god and platinum god and the other last secret. And that's 49 mom kills. Why have my mom kills gone up by two? The last episode was definitely 47. What the hell? Why did you go up by two? Does it count when you kill... Both mom and mom's heart? I guess so. Either way, that's as good in my book. So, thank you all for watching this episode of The Binding of Isaac. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like. And if you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.